everybody has gone today i'm going to show you how to make this shot look a bit more interesting without the use of any fancy gear all you need is your computer and the internet let's go how is it going guys and welcome to the olufemi channel we're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible hey everybody how's it going dave here today i'm going to show you how to make a great vfx video in your internet browser all you need is a computer in the internet runway ml i've been following those guys for quite a while and they've got these crazy ai machine learning features that are just great and they all happen in the cloud they just don't take any cpu power from your computer it just all happens in the cloud the most popular feature that i've used them for in the past before exploring some of the other cool stuff they've got was the green screen feature which means that you can rotoscope stuff and it happens super quick it happens in the cloud and it just works great this kind of opens up the doors to adding cool stuff to your videos and you know social media posts without a knowing too much about vfx and b not requiring to have all that processing power because everything happens in the cloud now the video we're breaking down today was all done in runway ml i recorded it and imported the footage in there it takes some getting used to with all the layout but it's pretty crazy what you can do i encourage everybody to at least create an account go on and see what the features are i guarantee you guys will spark new ideas and new creativity and it's it's super fun if anything else is really fun now the first thing we're going to do is open up the chrome browser as this is what runway recommend for the best possible results we're going to go to runwayml.com log in if you've got an account if you don't just sign up it's super easy and it takes us to this project window so as you can see these are all the projects i've been working on we're going to go up to the right and click a new project and this is what we're presented with really familiar we've got all our assets and videos to the left we've got our timeline we've got a main preview window and on the right we've got a few templates to choose from so for this one we're going to go with id story and we're going to press the minus button to zoom out. If you press the space bar, you get the hand so you can drag that wherever you want. And on the top here, we've got all the shortcuts. So you can kind of get familiar with what we've got. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and choose my media. If it hasn't been uploaded already, all you need to do is drag the media onto the browser and it's going to start uploading. Now I've already uploaded this once that's uploaded. You can simply just drag that footage onto the timeline and it's ready to be edited. Now I filmed this in portrait mode, so it's ready to go. And then I recorded the audio separately. So I'll do the same thing. Take my audio recorded, drag it onto the browser. We're gonna go into this icon right here. That's where all the music and the audio is stored. And I'm gonna drag this onto my timeline. Now I'm gonna quickly sync those clips up. I know where I started playing, so it's around there. I'm going to click on the clip and as you can see on the right, we've got all these settings we can mess around with. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute it because I don't want any of the audio from the camera. And this is what I've got. So everything's synced up, ready to go. Now, because I'm starting right here, I'm going to select my top clip and then split that in place. And the shortcut is Command K for that going to do that for both of those I'm going to delete that and i'm going to put those right at the beginning now i'm going to start doing some of the fancy stuff first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go in select the clip and go to my right and select green screen what i'm going to do here is i'm going to simply just roto myself out and this is how easy it is you just simply click and make points of what you want to roto out. And the machine learning and the AI is just going to simply process that data and roto out what it thinks it should. And just like that, I've rotoed most of the stuff out. Just going to go back in and make some minor adjustments. And the bulk of the masking has been done. I'm just going to go in. I can see it missing out on a few bits. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some keyframes, play it slowly and make some more points in there. Just so it knows to keyframe those out from the next frames. You can play it along and give it some more information to work with as you go along. But as you can see, it's really accurate and it's done most of the job for me. So I'm going to go back, going to select my clip and I'm just going to position it in the middle. So I'm going to come up here and select the arrow or press the M key and just position that in the middle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my assets and I've uploaded a little graphic background I found on Envato Elements and I'm going to use that for like a little cool animation in the background. So I'm going to drag that onto my timeline and I'm simply going to resize that really quick. 
So because it's a 10 second clip, I'm just gonna find a point I can loop. So I'm just gonna loop this bit right here. I'm gonna press the option key and drag to start duplicating that. Now we're gonna come in and explore some of the effects we've got. I'm gonna select my top clip and on the right we're presented with all these parameters. We're gonna click on the effects and we're presented with a bunch of effects that we can start previewing and seeing what we like. The cool thing is, is as soon as I place the mouse over the effect, we're gonna start seeing a quick preview of what it looks like. No lag whatsoever, and this is really cool. So you don't have to add the effect as you would do with other software to see what it looks like. You just quickly preview and see what you like and what you don't. I'm gonna come down, I've clocked an effect I wanna use for this one. I'm gonna come down, and it's this one right here, it's the Inigo's color palette. And I'm gonna simply press add to add that effect. And it's added that effect really nicely. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate that clip. So I'm gonna press the option key and drag that clip up. And on the top clip, I'm gonna come and delete the effect. And on the bottom clip, I'm just gonna move the affected clip slightly to the right and down, just so it creates a nice shadow. And already, this is looking pretty interesting. Now at the beginning, when the background is kind of unfolding, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mess around with the blending modes and get something interesting going. I'm gonna set the top clip, and then I'm gonna come to the left where these three stars are, and I'm gonna start automating some of these parameters. I'm gonna make a keyframe on the opacity. Just click on the opacity layer there. If you click it again, your playhead is gonna to move to that exact position. Now I'm gonna automate that. I'm gonna make my opacity zero. So all I wanna do is I'm, I just want a quick little fade in. Move the playhead a few frames and then go back to opacity, make it 100%. So we've got a nice little fade in right there. So I like that, go back. I'm gonna go to the bottom clip now and I'm gonna, as soon as that's faded in around there, I'm gonna split at the playhead. And this first clip right here, I'm gonna come and mess around with the blending mode and make that go to multiply. So what that's gonna do is, it's only gonna appear as the graphic appears. So I'm quite happy with that. As you can see, it's really easy to do. I just added some of the elements. And to make it a bit more interesting, what I'm gonna start doing now is, I'm gonna move these up. The next thing I'm gonna do to add a bit more interest is I'm gonna add some of these scribble elements made by Sean that's actually made a great video on the channel about how he animated Drake and the Raptors. So check that out. So I'm gonna drop these in place change the blending mode to screen and then resize those little clips. I'm gonna spread those effects across my timeline just to make it a bit more interesting, add some movement in there. After you're done with the edit, just come up, press export and just export the video. And as soon as the export's ready to download, you'll get an email telling you that it's ready to download. And as soon as that's ready, you'll see it in your assets and you'll be able to preview it and download it. So that looks really cool already. What I did is I added a bit more movement in there. So I just went back to my projects. I created a new project, went up to my format and chose IG story. Just dragged in the exported video. Now what I'm simply gonna do is I'm gonna come up to the three stars and add a bit more movement to it all. So I'm gonna probably start with a scale, click again to get the playhead to stick there. Gonna start with like a zoomed in kind of view and I'm just gonna move it along so I've got a bit more slow movement resize that again move again zoom in and just do that just to add a bit more movement to everything come back and maybe change some of the rotation after you've done all that just re-export the clip this will be a lot faster because it doesn't have as many effects and then if you go into your assets you'll see your final video in there and you'll be able to preview it download it airdrop it to your phone and get ready to post it so that's the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. They've got some great stuff on the website, but they've got some even better stuff cooking in the background. Trust me when I say that they've got some great stuff coming up. Go give them a follow on social media. Go create an account on runwayml.com and you know tag me in the video. I'd be really interested to see what you guys come up with with all those crazy effects. If you wanna watch the full version of the video that we broke down today, I'll upload it onto my Instagram. Dave the Greco's the handle, come and say hi. Till next time, take care guys, peace. Quick little breakdown for you guys. I've got here a light. I've got another light with the XLs, softbox. I've got a reflector. I've got a camera there with a 60 mil uh, recording in portrait because uh, I'll, I'll be posting on social media. After that, I've got 
bunch of like little practicals in the background, hopefully separate me from the background and make it easier for rotoscoping. And then audio wise, I've got my guitar going into my pedal board. And for this one, I'm just using two pedals, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And then here I've got my amp simulator. It's called the Kemper, really good piece of kit. And all that goes into my audio interface right here. This is a Polo Twin X by Universal Audio, really nice piece of kit. And that basically translates my analog signal into digital signal. And that all goes into my Ableton, my recording software. And after that, I'll probably uh, add some more sparkly stuff in Ableton, make it sound nice and loud for social media, put the audio and video into Runaway, sync it all up, and get ready for posting.